Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're interested in knowing how I made this gorgeous cowl neck top, then stay tuned. I have a full tutorial ahead. Okay, let's jump right in. Here are a few items you're going to need. I'm going to start by measuring how deep I want the cowl neck to go, usually from shoulder to shoulder, and then I just drop it down, and then I measure from bust to the waist. You can see the direction of how I'm folding the fabric. I would want it to be cut on the bias at a 45 degree angle. This creates a more flattering cowl neck in the end. Using my chalk, I'm just going to put in the two measurements, bust to waist and the width of the top. Don't forget to account for seam allowance. Next, I'm just marking the top middle of the width of the top at 10.5 inches. And at that point, I'm just measuring how long I want the top to be. I decided 20 inches, but you can choose the measurements that works best for you. Now I'm just going to join that lower bottom point to the lower waist mark. It's driving me insane how I didn't iron my satin prior to this video, but here I just added some pins and you can use your fabric scissors or your rotary cutter to cut out the fabric. You can kind of see the shape I have going on here. Adding some more pins and ensuring that you've got the right sides together. And now it's time to make some straps. You can make them as long or as wide as you want. That's completely up to you. I just decided to do it about 24 inches and about 1.5 inches in width. I've created four straps, two for the top and two for the waist. And this is the shape of the actual bodice, how it will look. I am living for this color. You're going to take each strap and you're going to fold right sides together, take it to your sewing machine. Then you're just going to cut off the excess fabric using a loop turner to turn it right side out. I'll have a separate video on how I make my straps. So satisfying. Next, to add the straps, I just wedge it between the two right sides. I kind of just slide it in there and clip it into place. That will be for the waist. And that will be for the top. Just going to do the same for the other side. Now you're just going to sew down the layers, but leaving a small space so you can turn the fabrics inside out. Don't forget to backstitch. You're just going to do a straight stitch all the way around. You can use a small universal needle for this one. I like to make sure I change my needles frequently, however, to prevent snagging, especially satin is so delicate. Now through that small hole you left, you're just going to turn the fabric right side out. Mine's was a little bit too small and I struggled a little bit to get it out. You can either do a ladder stitch to close up that small hole you left, or you can be like me and be lazy and just do a tiny top stitch all around to close up that hole. I like to go really close to the edge 
just so it's not too noticeable and it still gives it a clean look. One final iron and voila! If thank you guys so much for watching. If you found this video informative, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!